Hello guys, this is Jacko from Muddy Tiger Outdoors. Um, hope everybody's doing great today. Uh, we're going to do a quick review today, semi-quick I guess. Uh, today we're going to be talking about the Maelstrom Tac Force 8 inch boot. Uh, this is uh, something that I've been uh, waiting for a long time to uh, get a hold of these and make a review, use them, wear them, um, you know, uh, take them hiking. This is what they were meant to be. Uh, use for so I've been definitely uh, wearing these um, for almost a week and almost pretty much every day uh, just to kind of test them out if they look used and a little bit dirty is because I've definitely been um, giving them a good test just to see uh, what they're all about so before I get uh, into detail uh, giving you my opinion of what I think of the boots I'm going to give you some of the quick facts about the boots. Um, as you can tell, uh, just as the previous model that I reviewed, the uh, Landship 8 inch, uh, these also have a side zipper right here, and it's a little bit different than the other model. It's a little bit more rugged uh, zipper. Uh, it's also, it's got a padded collar and tongue for extra comfort, and let me tell you, these are definitely, definitely comfortable. Uh, they're cemented uh, construction. Uh, with a toe stitched so this is stitched right here and all this right here is uh, cemented uh, very very sturdy very well made for sure composite shank for uh, support and stability so um, you know you definitely don't feel like uh, you know you're you're stepping weird or, or that you're off balance at all I mean these are these are definitely uh, very well made um, of course <clears throat> as uh, all of the uh, models or, or boots uh, shoe wear made by uh, Maelstrom. These are slip and oil resistant. So you really, if you step on water, if you happen to step on uh, oil or gasoline, you're not going to slip. Another aspect of uh, these boots <coughs> that, in my opinion, a lot of other uh, brands or manufacturers kind of overlook it. It's the uh, the insoles. You know, this is what you're stepping on. This is what you're standing on for hours in a day and this is very very important to my opinion to talk about these these are uh, shock absorbing molded and these are high performance removable so you can definitely take them out clean them out now these are very very cushy very very comfortable uh, very flexible and um, you know they to me they feel like they support your heel uh, very very well um, so I, I, I definitely like this now all the materials uh, they're antibacterial and uh, moisture wicking you guys have seen my other video that I have but these are the uh, Maelstrom uh, Landship uh, boot again a very nice looking boot uh, made by uh, the same quality and uh, same materials and these are definitely definitely uh, a very top-of-the-line uh, boot and just to kind of make like a little comparison, this is the Tech Force uh, boot. So uh, you can probably tell very, very similar, different color. This is the tan, and I believe this is the uh, desert um, uh, or coyote tan, um, whatever uh, it's called. Um, they're definitely, definitely very well made. The difference um, is that these are waterproof. Um, these are not. These are very uh, breathable. Uh, as you can tell, there's two little holes right there for ventilation and and to uh, you know make sure that you're getting enough air uh, in your foot. So these are probably meant to be worn in very hot uh, weather's desert maybe. These are meant to be worn pretty much anywhere. Um, they're waterproof. I haven't quite tested uh, to see how waterproof they are. But, um, you know, based on, on what they look like, I'm sure these are very, very waterproof. Uh, once again, I apologize for the dirt and uh, the wear uh, in these. But like I said, I've been, I've been definitely using them. I uh, took them a couple times hiking out to uh, a local park here. And, you know, they perform very well. So my experience so far is that they're also very, very lightweight. They're comfortable to, to wear. Um, I think the longest period of time that I've worn these so far is pretty much for close to eight, maybe nine hours. All kinds of terrain, dirt, mud, uh, grass, definitely. And they're comfortable. They're very lightweight. Um, 
I was showing them to my mom the other day and you know she thought they were cool and she picked them up and she definitely realized that they were uh, not as heavy as they look these are a little bit deceiving as far as uh, weight I mean it's a it's a very sturdy uh, boot very well constructed but very lightweight so you know you kind of forget that you're wearing a boot in fact the only thing that reminds you that you're wearing a boot is this part right here because you feel it high on your ankle but uh, definitely very comfortable now these are also offered in black uh, black leather. Um, you know they've got two uh, two colors, two trims. Uh, this is the uh, tan model, same as this other model, the uh, Landship. Um, but let me show you this. Uh, this is a, a difference that I found a little bit interesting. Uh, the zipper right here. I don't know if you can tell, but the zipper it's a lot more fine, a lot more, I guess, uh, smaller. Well, it looks a little bit more delicate. Not that it is, but it, that's what it looks like. Now this other zipper. Definitely a little bit different, a little bit more rugged. Um, you know, it looks pretty tough. Uh, it works great. It zips right up. Uh, and this is one of my favorite features of uh, these boots. In fact, that's one of the main reasons why I picked them because, you know, you don't even have to untie your shoelaces. You can just zip them or unzip them and, uh, you know, take your uh, foot right out. So my opinion is if you're looking for a boot um, that it's not going to break your bank, uh, something that is very very durable it's gonna last for years I'm sure uh, with proper care uh, definitely definitely look into these um, uh, the company that makes them it's an American company and they're I think they're based off, uh, off uh, uh, Virginia somewhere in Virginia I think um, but these these are really well designed really well made um, you know I've, I've seen comparable boots uh, out there in stores and online mainly on Amazon since that's my uh, main source of uh, shopping, and um, you know they're they're definitely a lot more expensive. I mean, there's some other ones out there for you know 100 bucks, 120, sometimes even 150 dollars, and that's in your budget. That's great, um, but these usually go for about 50 something, maybe 60 something dollars, uh, which is you know for what it's worth, it's definitely definitely a good buy. So. Um, Here's a, here's a little bit of a more data right there. That's the uh, model number, I think. And these are some of the features there. This is where I took my uh, uh, information from. So um, anyway, uh, I hope you found this video useful. Um, I'm definitely very happy with these boots. If you have any questions, please let me know. If you like the video, please uh, press on the like button. And if you like what you see, if you like to see more of my videos, please uh, subscribe. Uh, I hope everybody's having a great day, like I said before. And uh, we'll see you guys next time.